And our next guest for the evening is Keaton Patel. He is the chairman and MD at Creative New Tech. Have a look at this conversation. Three decades of entrepreneurship. First we used to plan for five years, now we are planning it for a year and every quarter we have to tweak the plan, right? Because suddenly a chat GPT may change everything for you. Providing you the solution you need with Creative New Tech. All innovations whichever has happened till date have happened out of a constraint. News X India A-List proudly recognizes Ketan Patel for excellence in business. Hello and welcome to News X A-List. Today I'm joined by Mr. Ketan Patel. He's the chairman and MD of Creative New Tech. A very warm welcome to News X. Thank you so much for inviting me to for this talk. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Patel, uh, let's talk about your company, Creative New Tech. Uh, tell us about the solutions that your platform offers. So our company has two distinct businesses. One is uh, we are brand licensee for Honeywell across four categories. The air purifier, audio, uh, networking products and electronic essential. Uh, this license extends to 38 countries across India, mainly Southeast Asia, South Asia, Middle East and Africa. So that's one distinct part of the business where it's more from the B2C consumer kind of goods we manufacture and sell. Second is we are market entry specialists for niche brands which want to come to India and mainly for the millennials and the Gen Z. So that's our two distinct businesses currently. Very interesting. You've been a three decade long entrepreneur. Things have changed over the years. sir. What do you really see as an entrepreneur? What has changed in the sector? Okay, so uh, see technology nowadays, first you could uh, so consider our uh, planning also for the year, right? First we used to plan for five years, now we are planning it for a year and every quarter we have to tweak the plan, right? Because suddenly a chat GPT may change everything for you or suddenly a new, so uh, the new rush towards healthcare. And if you want to win that market, and if you don't do healthcare, that not work, right? So for us, uh, a couple of things have changed. The biggest change is uh, the shift from uh, the employer having an upper hand hmm. to an employee ha having an upper hand. Today, uh, it's more about somebody wants to join your organization. He takes your interview rather than you taking their interview, right? That's, that's because, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's one big change. Uh, access to capital is much easier than before. That's the second change. And the third is the perception overall of India as a country or a brand. Abroad has changed a lot and people really want to come to India and that's where we fit in very well. Something that you mentioned about uh, the change towards capital has changed a lot. And talking about that, when you started off, you did not have any funding. There was no external Correct. funding. And now we talk about capital seed, we talk about seed funding, venture capitalists. What is your take on that? And how much do you think that's helping the entire sector now? Okay. So I'm a quite old school and I really think that uh, you can only develop your muscle if you face hardships, right? Okay. And all innovations, whichever has happened till date, have happened out of a constraint, right? Okay. So, for example, we didn't have the telephone network, so we just moved to mobile because that's a newer technology that's here. So, for our time, that was a good case, but the millennials and the Gen Z who are now becoming entrepreneurs who are running the startup, uh, for them, they are on the Maslow's top end of the pyramid. Roti, okay. kapra, makan, uh, uh, safety, respect, all that is given to them, right? So, their risk-taking ability is more. Uh, they have not seen any deficiency in their life overall, right? Now the kids go to a air-conditioned school and then that's from where he comes out, right? So for them and the whole uh, uh, VC thing which is happening now gives them a lot of space to try a newer thing, right? Marriage also from 23 years of age is moved to 30, 32 years, right? So what was in our time was you were settling in business, you were settling in life, everything was happening together, right? And you wanted to explore life also. Currently, these guys are just settling in their business or their studies. They are exploring life and at 30, 32, to get a life partner after they've seen a larger part of the world, right? So that's going to change much more as capital becomes available more and more. We will find a lot of young entrepreneurs coming. 
my only advice is that uh, whatever you get for free or in abundance you don't have the value for that and that's, that's why exactly what, that's exactly they, what i was wanting to know from you you know when you've had so many years of experience uh, when you're saying you, you don't have a risk taking ability you don't understand failure uh, we know that when uh, you know usually we're seeing a lot of startups when one set of funding ends then they're like okay we'll go for round 3 for funding and that's how they keep doing and they estimate themselves at a much higher level and then we uh, realize it's a, it's a complete bubble uh, how do you think people should figure that out for themselves especially the entrepreneurs because they live in a bubble where they think they estimate the value of a company at x amount of billion dollars and then eventually it's just a bubble so a couple of things are there right uh, uh, first and uh, foremost for anybody it is that uh, your valuation until you don't go public is not it's a paper values that's the first part of the game second is the whole world has changed towards platform so there's a term which i use is opr opm other people's resources other people of money that's what the startup really wants to do on the opr opm front and some of them are really building it very well but sometimes you will have to think this is india right so particularly say for example i want to uh, do a laundry okay but if the dobi is coming home and taking your clothes and delivering the same day why would you require a laundry or a laundromat for that matter right so you. if if the need is there you go there do that stuff but because the funding is coming from abroad and their expectation is 2% 3% and they were thumb rule right that in any 10 businesses you invest if one business also succeeds does well so people who don't succeed also or the ideas are not great also get funded because you don't know what will work right that's the so do you think in, in a way that is nice because we are giving a space to a lot of entrepreneurs in the country and we are pushing the entire startup aspect in india and as you're saying that the entire logic of how india was looked at is completely changed completely and uh, all credit to the current government because uh, see uh, somebody has to market themselves right yes and there were so many things which were happening in the previous government also but this government talks about it you know when uh, so many prime ministers have visited us but when modi ji visits us you have all the bureau how many people he met when did he met what happened all that that's the case right so and you know india is the third fourth largest consumer company now right and it's overtaking a lot of people so the interest because europe is now almost not growing anywhere so for interest is towards china and india uh, the skill sets to enter a chinese market is much different india is again a english speaking population that's the case so that's why a lot of interest is over here and i think uh, apple started manufacturing here is relatable to what maruti did right maruti yes. Uh, Suzuki came, and the whole ecosystem developed in nearby the NCR region. Similarly, the whole ecosystem for mobile will develop, and definitely will require more and more entrepreneurs to cater to that. Right? That that are the future plans for the country, which are great. But before I let you go, I want a future plan for your company. What are we looking at? What is the future plans for Creative New Tech? We're talking in twenty thirty. If we would have created at least two uh, thousand jobs for our people. if we would have been uh, able to uh, get products which uh, and execute that experiential journey for the customer that's what i would put them pat my back and be happy about it that's excellent to hear that thank you mr patel thank you so much for connecting with newsx thank you so much thank you for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon